This is Nicole Hetty from Paper Tray Ink, and today I'm really excited to introduce you to a new product called Type Strips. It consists of this special die that um, cuts several letter stickers at once, but leaves them intact with just little tiny threads, basically, um, onto a base strip so that you can store this and it's easy to stamp several letters at once. And I'm going to show you how this works. Um, to begin with, you want to look at the stamp set. The stamp set um, includes three different fonts of the entire alphabet, and there's even a couple extra um, popular letters for um, ease so that you can maybe perhaps stamp just one set of letters to form a whole word or phrase. Now, the two strips are on a single stamp, making this extra wide so that it's very easy to keep it straight when placing it on your block. So here's the stamp I'm going to use to show you how easy this is to do. And I'm just going to pick this up with my block. And like I just said, it's so easy to keep this straight because it's such a nice and wide stamp. I'm going to stamp this onto um, one of our white um, adhesive sheets. Now these are cool because it's essentially one huge um, piece. It, it comes in a big 8.5 by 11 piece. Um, I've cut it down a little bit for this purpose. But basically it's sticky on the back and has the um, backing that you just peel away when you're ready to use it. So that makes it easier to use and make your own letter stickers like this product line allows you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink up my alphabet. When you do several light taps like this, it allows you to get a really nice even ink distribution on your stamps. You'll get a nice impression. Now when you're stamping with this, I highly recommend placing a um, mat of some sort underneath your paper. And this could be um, the polymer mats we sell for you to do embossing in your dye machine. They can be um, a mount foam mouse pad, could be fun foam that you can buy at the store. Just something to give your stamp a little bit of cushion. That's always a good thing to use when you have a big solid stamp like this. So I'm just going to tap this one more time. I'm going to go ahead and make my impression like this. And you want to go ahead and put a lot of force with your knuckles all the way across. And you end up with an impression that looks like this. Now you can see here I'm able to take the die that cuts all the individual blocks here and once you place this paper on your die platform you can just place this right over what you stamped. And if you can see any color poking out of the corner, like see up here you can see a bit of that color, you want to adjust it so you just can't see any of it. If that's the case, then you get it perfectly lined up to cut all of your letters at once. Now I've just run this through my dye machine. And I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to pop this out of the die. like this. And you can see it's given me a perfect um, little sticker sheet that I can make ahead and store like this or I can go ahead and add it to a project. Now I've got a project here that I wanted to add personalized with um, the birthday girl's name and what I can do is I can peel back the backing on the sticker sheet, since I made this out of our adhesive sheet, and rip off the letter that I need and just stick them to my project like that. Get in here and finish applying my letters. Now what's great about these is, you know, before you had to kind of fumble around with um, little tiny stamps little tiny dies to achieve personaliz personalization like this. But now 
it's a bit easier because everything is just so quick and easy with one die cut, one run through your die machine, one impression with your stamp, and you have everything at your disposal that you need. And there is an example of how you can use these letter stickers to personalize your cards.